This episode of Manual Muscle Testing is brought to you by the subscapularis, internally rotating the shoulder since the beginning of human existence. Alright guys, so now we're going to start with uh, shoulder uh, extension first. So, you're going to start in the prone position, that's your against gravity position. So go ahead and try to extend that shoulder for me. She's fantastic because she knows all these motions already. So go ahead and relax a second. So, she's got full range of motion there, we can verify that, feeling that firm infeel. So, don't be afraid to let them rest for a second. These motions are hard to hold for an extended period of time. So, if you need to explain some details, do it in a relaxed position. So, I'm going to have her hold right here. And then I'm just going to kind of stabilize up here around the shoulder area just to feel if there's any cheating going on. And then I'm going to apply pressure at the distal humerus. So, and try to push as perpendicular as you can. My positioning is a little weird just because I want to make sure you can see everything. So, I'm going to push on three. One, two, three. Hold, hold, hold. All right. So, patient went through full range of motion against gravity, held strong uh, pressure without breaking. Now, let's say she couldn't move at all. I can verify there's more range of motion. The gravity uh, minimized position is going to be in side lying. So go ahead and face the wall for me. I know we're changing shoulders here, but again, it's for the sake of uh, the concept. So I'm just going to hold that shoulder uh, to keep her from having to use her abductors and then try to extend that shoulder back for me. Awesome. Patient went through full range of motion in a gravity minimized position. That is a two out of five. All right, back to prone. Now, this is the official starting position for all internal and external rotation MMT strengthening. So go ahead and let your arm hang off the table. Now, don't let it just hang like this. You can put a towel into there, but honestly, with you pushing and stuff, it's just going to be a whole lot easier to use your hands. So this position will be awkward for a lot of people's shoulders, and they may prefer to not lay like this. So the modified position I'll show you in just a second. And for whatever reason, rotations always mix students up. So if I'm going to test her external rotators, she's going to externally rotate. Uh, a little trick, if the patient doesn't know, is just say, feel my hand here. Do you feel it? Follow my hand up, so follow me as far as you can. And I can guide her that way as far as possible. So that's where she's got. Firm in feel. I'm going to place her midway. And then I'm going to apply pressure. So on three, I'm going to push. One, two, three. Hold, hold. Okay. Patient went through full range of motion. Against gravity, held minimal resistance before giving. That is a four minus. Now, if she couldn't move at all, then the gravity minimized position will be in seated. I'll show you that in just a second. Internal rotation. Go ahead and internally rotate. Follow me back this way. Follow, follow, follow. Awesome. Check there. Perfect. Hold that. And then I'm going to push her out this way. So on three, I'm going to push. One, two, three. Hold, hold. Okay. Uh, I would say that wasn't even minimal pressure. So I'm going to see if she can hold fingertips. So hold that position for me. On three. One, two, three. Hold, hold, hold. Great. Patient was able to hold fingertip resistance after uh, doing full range of motion against gravity. She's going to be a three plus. So if she couldn't do any motion or doesn't like this position, have him sit up. The modified position and the gravity minimized position are the same. The thing is, with the gravity minimized position, I'm not going to apply any resistance. So if we're checking internal rotation, I'm going to externally rotate her. Relax your elbow a little bit. I'm just going to help hold that arm up and just try to touch your stomach. There you go. Patient went through full range of motion in the gravity minimized position. That was, uh, so that's a two. Now that's for the internal rotators. Now, if I want to challenge them in the modified position, I'm going to apply resistance. She's going to be about halfway. I'm going to try to pull your arm out. Don't let me do that. On three. One, two, three. Hold, hold, hold. And when we practice this in class, you'll see that even if you don't have a shoulder issue, your internal rotation is going to be stronger in the seated position. That's why that prone position is just really challenging uh, to feel comfortable on the shoulder. Again, do what feels best for your patient, but always start in the prone position at least. All right, so we've gotten our rotations out of the way. We've got our extension out of the way. Now we need to do flexion and abduction. You can do them in a seated position. So let this arm rest here at the side. Actually, go ahead and show with this arm here. And then just flex that arm up as high as you can. Always verify full range of motion. That's all she's got right there. Now again, I'm going to be standing on this side here just so you can see what's happening to the arm. About parallel to the ground. And I'm going to push at the distal humerus. And I'm just holding here so that she doesn't fall forward or try to lean back. So make sure she's not cheating. So on three. One, two, three. Hold, hold, hold. All right. Patient went through full range of motion against gravity. Held moderate resistance before giving. That's a four out of five. Um, I'll 
I'll show you the gravity minimized position in a second. Let's go ahead and do abduction. So abduct that arm out to the side, thumb up. That's going to help with impingement of the shoulder or to not impinge the shoulder. Bring that sucker back down. Again, I'm just going to have my arm here. I'm not holding anything. I can just tell she's cheating. So on three, one, two, three, hold, hold, hold. Awesome. Patient went through full range of motion against gravity, held strong pressure without giving. That's a five out of five. Now let's say she couldn't move at all. So with the flexion, she's going to go ahead and lay on your side. You can lay facing this way. That's totally fine. I know it's a different arm, but our same principle applies. We're moving parallel to the ground. So I'm going to have that thumb like it'd be up. So we're externally rotated. You're good right there. And then just try to flex. I'm just holding it up. And then that's all she's got herself. I take it a little farther. Patient went through partial range of motion in the gravity minimized position. That's a two minus for shoulder flexion. Now, if her abduction couldn't lift up at all, lay supine for me. I'm gonna roll this over to the side. Start at the side. I'm holding up, thumb up, so we're externally rotated, at least in the anatomical position, and then try to abduct here. All right, that's all she's got. I'm gonna go a little farther. No infield to the very end. She should have got more range. I'm still going to give her a two minus partial range of motion, gravity minimized position. On the practical, make sure that you're ready to name at least one muscle that does the action for any of those motions you get, because you're going to get a motion. So you give us a muscle and then you need to give us a nerve for that. So, and those are your basic MMTs of the shoulder for the practical. Uh, and then we can study a ton more about scapular strengthening at another date. So thanks for working with me. Fantastic. <laughs>